This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Gun Vault brand Mag Vault Carbine Lock. This is a very simple lock with a very specific purpose. It's designed to secure AR 15 style rifles and certain other rifles that take AR 15 magazines. The, you can see the design is pretty simple. We have a block of plastic into which a wafer core is set. And when you turn that core, a locking bolt rotates out from the lock body. To use this, we simply place it into the magazine well of an AR-15, turn the key, pull it out, and that block of plastic is locked inside of the firearm. Now that does a couple of things. First, you can see it extends up into the action of the gun blocking the chamber and making it such that you cannot insert a cartridge in the gun and you cannot close the action. The block also takes up the entire magazine well, making it such that you cannot insert a magazine into the gun. So this gun is fairly effectively disabled. The question then becomes, how difficult is this to open up? Now, if we look down here, we can see it's a a relatively standard looking wafer lock. Usually we're able to rake them pretty easily, but that's not the case here. And let me explain why. If I insert the key, I'm gonna turn it. And when I do so, I want you to watch this button right here. You can see that button goes up and down. This button is the magazine release. It's under a lot of spring tension. And when I lock the gun up, it pulls that button down. Now the spring tension that's on the button is now on the lock itself. So there's so much spring tension on there, I think that's what's making it very, very difficult for me to rake open. That doesn't mean that we can't single pin pick it, and that's what we're going to do right now. I guess the term it might better be single wafer picking. Okay, I have some top of the keyway tension in there with a 50 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook. Okay, that's that five, four, three, two, one. Okay, click out of two. Three, four, five. Not sure what's holding us up. Usually this opens a little faster. There we go. Click out of one and we are open. So as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot to single pin or single wafer pick this. And we were able to get into it pretty quickly. Now before we go, I want to show you the inside of this lock because I opened it up and frankly, I was a little bit surprised by what I found inside. I wasn't expecting anything super high security, but there was one thing in particular that raised my eyebrow. It's three screws to take this apart, and the first time I had it open, I actually had to break the two sides free from each other. It appears that they were sonically welded together, so this is not meant to be taken apart by the end user. However, once you break that sonic weld, it comes apart pretty easily. Okay, now let's look at the inside. You can see we have a large metal plate here, and that's what confused me. I really couldn't think of what use that plate has, and I came to the conclusion that it's only there to add weight, give this lock a little bit more heft, and make the end user feel like this is a little bit more substantial than it is. The other item of note is the lock body. And by lock body, I mean the portion of the lock directly around the core. As you can see, it's constructed entirely out of plastic on both sides with little metal inserts that the wafers will go into when this is in the locked position. So rather than having a complete metal body around the lock, we have just plastic with those little metal inserts. Probably not the best way to do it, but frankly, with these wafer cores, I'm not sure if it made it any easier or harder, just a little bit on the cheaper side in the manufacturing process. So, 
That's all I have for you on this Gun Vault brand Mag Vault AR-15 lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.